Remember to press the subscribe button and hit the bell icon to get the weekly updates on our channel. Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. This is your host Visha and in my today's video, I'm going to talk about BMLT course that is Bachelors in Medical Lab Technology course. And in case if you are planning to pursue Diploma in Medical Lab Technology that is DMLT, then you can click on the link above. So let's get started with today's video. So in this video, I'm going to discuss five main points and they are that what is BMLT? What is the eligibility criteria to get admission in BMLT? What are the top recruiting areas where you can get job after completing your degree course in BMLT? What are the job profiles or job position in which you can get hired? And in the last, I would like to discuss with you that what is the salary that you can get after completing your BMLT course. So let's get started with the point number one that is what is BMLT? So BMLT is Bachelors in Medical Lab Technology, which is also known as Clinical Lab Technology. It is a three-year degree program and also, as I said, also known as Clinical Lab Technology. So do not get confused that these are the two different options. You can always opt for this course with these two names. So the next point is that what is the eligibility criteria to get admission in BMLT? So the eligibility criteria is the 10 plus 2 in PCP that is physics, chemistry and biology. Yes, biology is a compulsory subject if you are planning to get admission in BMLT course. So if you are already completed DMLT, then you can also get admission in BMLT. The another point in the eligibility criteria is that you should have minimum of 50% in your class 12th, which is again of PCB. So this is the major criteria. Also, it is not said rule because some of the colleges they have their own eligibility criteria. Some of the times these colleges have their own exam uh, basis on which they will grant you admission. The sometimes the admission will be purely based on merit which will be created on your class 12th marks for which the minimum criteria is set 50%. So you need to go through the college by college in which you are planning to get admission and according to that you need to check their eligibility criteria and then you can apply. The next main point is that what are the top recruiting areas where you can get job after completing your DMLT course. So the number one is hospitals because as we all know that hospitals have their own laboratories where they do blood testing or other tests related to the patients. So you can get job in hospitals whether it is government or whether it is private. Next one is the nursing homes. Then next one is diagnostic labs, pharmaceutical laboratories, blood banks, R&D labs that is research and development labs and universities. Yes, you can join universities as professor or as a laboratory technician. So the next point is that what are the job positions or job profiles that you can get after completing this course? So the number one is lab technologist that is you will be work as a lab technician in some lab healthcare administrator you could also work as an healthcare administrator in some lab or in some hospital or in some clinic or you can work as a lab manager where your major responsibility will be to manage the lab manage all the processes of the lab that is a very good profile if you get it as a lab manager then you should take it and the next profile is of consultant you can work as a consultant also in some hospital or in some private clinic where you will provide your knowledge to the patients or to the ones who are looking forward to that knowledge so the last point is 
that what will be your salary so as i have mentioned in my other videos also that as a fresher you will get around 15 to 20 or sometime 20 to 25000 salary which depend upon the type of your profile type of the job type of the area area means like type of the sector where you are working whether it is private or government or which type of industry you are working for so it totally depends on that but uh, you should not expect more than 25,000 as a fresher because it is difficult in India to get a higher salary if you have zero experience. So that's all about this video and in case if you are looking forward for more videos on paramedical then you can click on the screen. Feel free to ask any question in the comment section below and remember to subscribe to my channel.